He'd get up, my, 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 my pa, he pastored here. Let me tell you something. I remember in Tracy City, he, you know, see, I, I told you about, I've told you the story about on Sunday morning, he was preaching about faith. Now, faith is something everybody don't understand. Faith is something everybody don't understand. They think it ought to be done, then praise the Lord for he didn't mean it. I had faith in God. Well, you didn't have no faith in the Lord. I tell you, I've got more faith than I, I ever, I believe I've got more faith Sister Murray than I ever had before. Yes. I may die with a heart attack in the next hour from now, but I've still got more faith than I ever had before. Yes. Something's going to kill us. Something's yes. going to take us out. Yes. Praise the Lord, but don't get scared. Don't get scared. And he died on the altar, laid on the altar and died. And the saints got up and prayed for him. And he come back to life right there on the altar. Not only did he come back to life on the altar, Chris, but when he set up, he grabbed the microphone and went back around behind the pulpit and finished his message. I want you to, I, let me tell you one thing today. If, if you were to go to the doctor tomorrow, he said you had cancer and go, I'll give you six months to live, you'd make a lot of difference in this church. Come on, folks. Amen. You would be up doing something about it. You would be up sitting there just warming the bench. Yes, You'd be saying, pray for me. That God will take my body. The doctor will give me six months to live. All right. Yes, right. And I'll tell you something else about that service. When that happened to him, half the church went walked out the door. When you get so far, when you get so far in, in, in death, you don't do no praying. Yes, Somebody's got the intercede for you. Yes, you. You're supposed to have some brother that would be down there somewhere interceding for you. But I'm glad that there was still a few saints that said, we know God can move. Yes. Granny said, let's just pray for him. Yes. Let's just pray for him. I believe God will raise him up. Let's just keep on praying for him. Yes. And I'm going to tell you what we just kept on praying for him. And listen, I saw God raise the man from the dead and he can still do it today anytime he wants to. But I'm going to tell you something. It's going to take some getting a hold of God, folks. I, I'm getting ready. God's getting me ready. Everyone said, why ain't you done it, done? But God's not hardly got time. He's not, he's, he's not done with me yet. You don't see it now because we don't live that kind of life they live now. Come on, come on. Oh, he'd get up on Sunday morning if, if, if he wanted to sing, he'd sing. He'd grab that old guitar, didn't have but three fingers to play with. Chris, he'd grab that old guitar. You would never know he didn't have the three fingers on that hand. He'd start, he'd start playing, and you know what he'd say? He'd say, give me an A chord. Feet have a good old song. What do you say? Come on. Everybody standing, everybody saying. Praise the Lord. Just cut off one there, Mary Lever. He'd say, I can make it. I can make it. And I know that we can make it. Oh, he said, he would say this little verse. Well, he gives sight to the blind and feet to the lame. I can make it. Yeah. I can make yeah. it. You, Listen, Lord. this is my favorite part. He'd say this, Chris. He'd say, well, he said in his word that he'd feed the little old bird. Yeah. I can make it. Yep. I can make it. Yeah. Folks, do you believe? 